as tempting as it is to make some comments about the professor's address, uh, approving comments of course, it, it, fall <laughs> it falls to me to ask Mr Graham Berry, the President of the Masonic Club, New South Wales, if he would move the vote of thanks. Chairman Jai, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you Jai for your invitation to uh, propose this vote of thanks to our speaker this afternoon. We have all at various times heard speeches given by Professor David Flint. We have all thoroughly enjoyed them. No doubt, like me, you have enjoyed his encyclopedic knowledge, his very lucid way of delivery, and finally, his extreme urbanity. That's Professor David Flint as I know him. We heard something this afternoon about Sir Robert Menzies. After he retired, he wrote some books, and in one of them, he devoted a few pages to the making of speeches in public. And he said that a speech should have one of two purposes. That was either to inform or to entertain. I suggest to you this afternoon that we have been both informed and entertained by Professor Davidson. <laughs> We have certainly been uh, informed. I think not one person in this, in this room could truthfully say that they have not learnt something this afternoon from Professor Flint about uh, the Prince of Wales. I think we have learnt a lot about him. I have some doubts about the question of possible abdication, which is raised from time to time, and I think it's proper to raise it now. I don't raise it as a former lawyer because I remember reading a text some years ago which put the, the premise that it might well be that even to discuss abdication, abdication was an act of treason. So I think we might leave that one well alone. However, I'm sure you join with me in thanking Professor for his efforts in preparing that very notable speech today. And I ask you to join with me please in this vote of uh, thanks to him in the usual way. Thank you.